Alrighty, today is a fabulous, what is today? Tuesday. Um, so we are doing a install on one base fan, just like yesterday, along with two DWDMs. Um, well, at least it's on the schedule, but first we're doing a, uh, a turn up. So we're gonna be turning up some new radios. But they're saying this stuff, there might already be a DWDM connected out in the field. So, but they're not sure. So, which is good and not good. Good because then we don't have to run comm fiber and deal with all that mess. Not good because I don't know if we have spares. Cause yesterday when I went to go get stuff, they didn't have any of them. So, I don't know, but we're just gonna wait here. Um, yeah, we are out of here on the 18th. So we're not gonna be working the 19th, so we're either gonna leave the 18th, the night of the 18th or 19th, whatever day that is, I think Friday. Um, so yeah, see y'all when we figure out what we're doing. We gotta stop for breakfast too because I'm starving to death. Um, yeah, probably just gonna hit McDonald's again because it was like right there by the site and it was uh, cheap. So, we'll see. We'll see how we're feeling when we get closer to down there. But, see y'all in a little bit. All right, we're almost to the site. We're about two minutes out. So I don't know how much we'll be able to record of this, of today's activities. Uh, we've got some uh, other people coming to the site with us so I just found that out but we'll do what we can we'll see what we can get um, so yeah just a little heads up I guess okay so we're in here we got our stuff here we're gonna work off this one right here so we got our little tabs pulled out for 4g 5g and our C band down there And then up here, we have our DWDM. So we need to connect a comm fiber from here all the way up here, running around in the fiber tray, all the way back here into one of these ports. So we gotta figure out which one it is. So it's gonna be gonna be fun. So much fun. So we're gonna start by taking our SFPs out. Then we're going to put them in here. Push that in. We have our one fiber. Run it in through here. It's gonna go into this side here. Then it's gonna get plugged in. Right here. And then we'll tie that in. So we're gonna do that with these ones over here. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so we finished the first one. Um, we have got everything hooked up and connected. So now we're heading to do the install of the one base span and two uh, DWDMs, which are back there. So we're gonna go do that and then come back here in a little bit. Once the tower crew is done, so we can check fiber loss, make sure that's all good. And then once that's good, we're done for the day. But yeah, so not much, I guess, actual, like showing y'all how to do everything or like y'all doing it with me. 
like uh, the other videos just because like I'm not alone and so we're gonna just kind of roll with what we got right so I'll see y'all later next site or I don't know we'll just play by ear all right boys we made it to our site we got right here so we're gonna hook up to our com port we're gonna go ports four and six for our 4G, 5G ports 19, 20, and 21. For C band. And then that's gonna come down here to which one? One of these. We're gonna figure that out. But. We're running off of this one. So right now we're gonna try to find the comp port or the front hall panel for this. And then we're gonna go from there and get that fiber ran possibly here, most likely. So we gotta find it in here somewhere. And then uh, we're gonna go from there. We have our fibers, our SFPs. So let's get going. Okay. So after a bit of a confusion, right, we found our ports over here, port 45. We've shot light with tower crew. We're gonna leave that down, actually. Um, we've shot light with tower crew. They're able to see our light, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off, which I need two hands to do. So let's hold that. Pull this on out of here. And then we're going to put it into our palm port on this base, not this band, um, DWDM, that's good to go. Now, we're going to come down here, and this third base band is the one we're using. So we're gonna hook our SFPs up to our ports, we're gonna get our fibers ran up to our DWDM, and then we're gonna hope we can start getting links here. Um, we should get them on these ones, I think, because I think they said they were ready for those ones. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Those are all in. We're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and connect our fibers. All right, so I figured we'd go through the steps a little bit but more clearly this time. So we have our fibers now ran, coming down here, and they're going into our base bin, which we're going to tie in and make that look all nice and pretty. But yeah. So let's go ahead and tie this in and make this look nice. All right, so everything's all tidied up now. Looking all good, coming down. So now we're gonna start the labels. So let's go and do that. All righty, we got the labels done. We are now. So we're good down here. We're good here. We're now going to label the side so it can match the note IDs. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we're going to check with our support, because um, I think we're running off of the uh, port's RST as well, but I'm not 100% sure I need to check on that. So let's go. And just like that, we're done with the first sight of the day. Um, we got links on everything, we got our labels on, we have good fiber loss. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much chilling. We're gonna wait until the tower crew has, um, well, I'm waiting for confirmation for our next site so I can start heading towards the hub location. Um, yeah, because I, I tried looking it up, but I have like four different options and I don't know which one's the right one. So we locked up the shelter. We're waiting to uh, log out of the site and leave until um 
I get confirmation on where I'm going next. Uh, but we are going to make a pit stop and grab something to snack on at a gas station or something because I'm starving to death. Um, but I mean, we're making good time. It's uh, 11.18. Um, so we're moving. We're moving. One more. Hopefully we'll be done by freaking... I'm, I'm going to get stuck in traffic. I'm going to like, get stuck in traffic. Unless it's like outside of the city. But I'm most likely going to get stuck in freaking rush hour traffic. Trying to come out of downtown Chicago. <laughs> it's going to suck. Oh my gosh. But yeah. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're just kind of chilling. Waiting for a confirmation of where we're going next. Wait for everything to be wrapped up as far as the back end. Um, and yeah. So let's jump to our next site. So a little update, I've been, we went to the second site, there was like five different cars here, a whole bunch of different people working on stuff, so they all just left, um, everything's been done on my side, all I'm waiting on, I've been waiting forever bro, at least so for real, it's been taking so long for the tower crew to finish their side of stuff, um, it's been, I finished at like 11, 11 a.m. It's currently 4.30 p.m. And they're still not done. And yeah, it's gonna freaking, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be a long drive, a long day, long night. But yeah, so we're literally just sitting here waiting for them to get done so we can do our, so we can check the fiber loss and then leave. That's literally it. Which, granted, some of some of you who know anything about this stuff, you, you know, you're like, oh, well, you know, your support can check the fiber loss. Like, yes, it's true. But if a link doesn't come up, then, and then I got to troubleshoot it. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so I'm going to be so mad if something doesn't come up right. Like, this is taking forever. And, yeah, I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I hate wasting time like that's like my thing is like I hate wasting time and like just doing nothing and that's like all I've been doing for the past like five hours dude and it drives me nuts and I don't have my iPad I don't have my like editing computer so I can't even do anything I can just like sit here so it is what it is but yeah so freaking just waiting around man and then once we once they get the freaking links up, we're gonna check fiber loss, and then we're gonna freaking get out of here immediately. But the good thing, I, I guess it's not good, but like I enjoy it driving like at night, uh, driving at night because I have these like lights, these aftermarket ditch lights that I put on here, and so I have them on both sides, and so I can turn them on at night and it's like super super bright and I love it everybody else on the road hates it but I love it so I get to use those because it's gonna be dark um, yeah so that's a good thing so at least there's something good that's coming out of this but we're still downtown Chicago so we got a long drive back out to where we're at um, yeah I mean at least we're at least we're in a good area though so well from what I'm being told it's a good area so that's good a um, little less stressful about that um, but I wish that the site had like so most sites in this Chicago area have gates that you can like pull your car into and lock the gate so you're like you're locked into the site you and your vehicle this one doesn't have that so it's like just literally chilling out here next to the road like this ends right there so like anybody can get in and get out whatever and so i don't like that so if it was closed i'd be chilling because then it's like i don't gotta worry about nothing but i don't know i don't trust people i don't, I don't trust y'all y'all people out here are crazy all right i'm not about to have no one doing nothing wild with my baby with my truck so we're gonna sit here well, right now we're gonna go freaking unlock everything because when these guys left, they locked it all up, and I need to go back in. 
when this is done. So we're gonna go in there, freaking unlock everything, get back inside, prop the door, um, and then we're just gonna jump back in here and hang out. And wait till uh, wait till we can check our fiber loss. That's all we got, really. We so for real. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but like uh, I mentioned Hawaii and Alaska and stuff. Uh, I mentioned that I got to go to Alaska in the last video, I think it was. Um, but I did get the opportunity to go to Hawaii as well. So that will be coming up um, at the first of the next year or the beginning of next year. So like January 1st, 2nd ish. Second. But that's going to be coming up. So that's going to be sick if you guys want to see that. It's a completely different project, different scope of work. Um, it's going to be mini link. So if you guys are interested in that or know what it is, don't know what it is, whatever, um, we're going to be going to do that out in Hawaii. So uh, we're going to go to every single island. So it's going to be freaking dope. So if y'all want to stick around for that, make sure to drop a subscribe, um, like the video, comment something. Let's see. What, what should y'all be commenting? Comment some questions. Like what are some questions that you guys have regarding either like what you've been seeing as far as scope of work wise for this stuff or just like any questions in general about the about this job telecommunications field engineers like what like any question you guys have drop them down below um and i'll do my best to to answer those with as much accuracy as it can um and if it's not accurate it'll be my opinion so but yeah drop those down below uh, i'll see y'all in the next video